Well, what is happening here? Well, I, I was trying to add a description, and I don't know what happened, but it is 6.52 p.m., December the 16th, and I have included the actual photo of what it looks like in the sky when I take my picture. It's right here. And um, I zoomed up on some of these right here, but I... A different photo that I took I saw this large shape right here and I thought okay now wait a minute what is that because you know I'm able to identify the little bitty uh, UFO ships up there but when I saw that I said no I've got to bring this out more and when I brought this out more this is what it is it's this right here when I bring the images out more in my photos actual photos that is what is up there in the sky this disc right here with these holes this big old ufo mothership and i'm saying mothership because uh, that's exactly what i think it is i think it's a large ufo mothership and there it is in the sky right there Here it is right here in comparison to this right here, right there. This is also in the sky right now. I brung that image right there out. Abernathy, Jones, I just used this iPhone 8 with my camera adapter lens. I point it toward the sky and I take my picture. This right here, I haven't pulled this out of the original. This is the original sky photo right here. This right here is what I get when I start pulling them out, but this is from the actual sky photo. These UFOs are up there. I can catch them in a regular photo. These are from the actual sky itself. I wanted to show you what it looks like. That's wonderful, Denise. I wanted to show you what it looks like in the blue sky. You know, these images are up there. They look a little different in the blue sky before I bring them out, but they are up there. And I just so shoot i did not put the full photo but this is this is the full photo right here but it's only a data sheet and i sure wish i could go back i can go back after i end this video and i can include that full uh, photo in there i thought i did i guess i got so caught up in it but i just took this around um 4.59 right there and I wanted to show you what it looked like in comparison, <laughs> but I left out the main photo, but I'm going to put it in as soon as I end this video. But this is that this is a large mothership disc. You can see these ships in there. You can see these holes. This is the actual uh, part of the actual photo up there in the sky. And these little things right here, okay. Those little things right there, you see this right here and here. I think this is the right photo. There it is right there and there in it. Okay, well, so we begin work with that. So, uh, yeah, this is what it, uh, it shows up in the sky right here. This is a section of the sky, this right here. I think this is the moon over here. I really do, because it was up in the sky. But these three objects right here and actually in the sky, they show up right here when I bring them out even more. Uh, but there's other things laying back there behind the layers of the sky. And this right here was very prominent in one of my pictures. It was very prominent in the picture of the sky. And when I get off of here, <laughs> oh, I push the button too soon. When I get off here, I'm going to put those pictures in there, the actual full-length photos that this image came out of. Because this, yeah, this actually was in the sky. So was this in the sky. This right here, and that, and that, and that. But these are like, they kind of look blurry. See, I've got to bring them out more and more when I bring them out. I live in the country. But um, it's going to, when I post those other photos, those other two photos, they're going to look like that. And it's going to have the top of the, the sky all the way down to where my yard is and the tree line. That's what you will see when I post them. And I am going to post them. I'm going to put those two photos, the full length photos on here because I thought I did, but I got so excited. But I just wanted you to know that yes, that is, these are actually up there in the sky for those who 
think they're not, okay? And something's up there traveling at 0.40 miles per hour. And in one of the pictures, it was traveling at 0.50 miles per hour. But yes, I did capture it in the sky. And um, this disc right here, this big old mothership, that's exactly what it is. It's a big mothership. I brought this image out of that photo right there. And these ships right here, they're also, I'm going to bring them out, but they're, they also show up in the regular sky view. Right there, one, two, three, you can see them. And it's not that good because Gina had to do a rush job because I was so excited. I thought, I gotta get that out there right away. Well, <laughs> now you see half finished uh, work. Yeah, it, it is, it, this, this disc, when I get through, it's gonna be extremely detailed, but um, I just wanted to put these posters, posters, post, I'm posting these. I want to put these pictures on here. I'm so excited. I am. I'm, I was so excited when I saw that uh, in the sky, in that original photo. And I was really excited to see this in such detail. These things are getting closer, or I would not have been able to pick them up in such detail. Right there. But that this thing right here, this ship right here is in another photo. And I will post that as soon as I get through from here. And I'll post the full length photo right there. Can I show you the fleets again? Well, this is these things right here, um, these are just from regular photos, but these are up there in the sky. It's pixelated because this, I have not brought these images out, but this is up there in the sky. It looks like little specks right now until I bring them out, but you, I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but they are up there in the sky. You can see the colors on them. I just gotta bring them out better. And hello to everybody up there. But I'm going to put the full length picture of this 2422 and um, the full length picture of that one, which is that one. So this is going to be an extremely short video, but I did want to point that out. I saw this circle in the sky. I thought, is that a planet? So I had to bring the picture out really fast that area and that is exactly what it is right there. That's that in the sky right there. See, you can even see these two dots right here on it, two circles. They're actually ships. This is like a mother ship right there. And that's in the sky. I guess Bonjour, Mario. I guess that's what you're supposed to see right now because that's what got posted right now until I get that pictures worked out. But I'm going to end this video. Um, I cannot explain this phenomenon any better than what I am. I just go out there with my iPhone 8 and I put on my camera adapter lens and I turn my flash on and I just point it at the sky where the sun don't shine. And this is in the eastern sky where the sun does rise. And you know what? Have you ever noticed, I've noticed like past this past summer, the sun, it would rise in the east, okay? And then the moon would also rise in the east. And it was so strange, okay? It was really strange. And as the moon was rising in the east and the sun was setting in the west, well, you couldn't have them both showing up for too long in the same sky. But yeah, this was this picture is right here where's the eastern sky that I always take in the morning because that's where a lot of the activity is. But um, the ships were also in the sky. I want you to look at this. Can you see this fine line right here? This very fine line? I did not do that, but it goes all the way across and you can see these fine lines when you go to the Lasco images. If you zoom up on them, you see these exact fine lines. I am being allowed to get these images so I can share it with you all. And I will believe nothing more because I would not be able to get these if someone did not, or some being did not want me to get these to share with you all, okay? It's only by the grace of God and you know all the good that there is in this world and out of this world that we're able to get these pictures. And it, it does make me excited. Can you tell I'm excited? I am very excited and I am excited that they have shown up in these sky photos in such detail. You look at that. I did a rush job, but we're going to see them better right there. But they came out of the sky photo. These right here, 
these dots right here they're right there in the sky right there in the sky now you get these people you get these people who don't want to believe okay they're still not going to believe even when I have these sky photos with the same images in them but that's okay this is for those who do believe and who want confirmation well we're giving you more confirmation so right here there and there and there <laughs> oh, look at that right there I really am gonna get off here because I got to get to work on those pictures I do uh, George Perlata, there's nothing to me recording myself capturing these images because I literally just stand there for one second or two and that's the end of it <laughs> and uh, you know what I don't care if somebody wants me to see me capturing these if they can't take that then that's just too bad you know I turn my GPS location services on also but you know I'm not gonna put that part of my data sheet in there okay yeah Well, I'm sorry. If people don't understand now, they're never going to understand because I can give um, evidence upon evidence upon evidence and it still would never be enough evidence. So I'm not going to do no performing of experiments for people and filming myself standing out there doing it. I'm not doing that. I'm not what I'm not here to do that. I'm not on this earth to do that. Yeah, but you know what? That's not going to discourage me, questions like that. It's a honest question. That's right. These things are not going to remain hidden forever. And, uh, yeah. Well, I'm glad you understand, Georgia Perlata. I've been asked so many things. I've been asked to perform so many experiments on this journey. It's not even funny. Okay. At first, I would try, and then I thought, you know what? This is silly. Why am I letting these people dictate to me what to do? Why am I letting them control me? Okay, they're not in control of me, so no, I don't do their little experiments anymore. That's nonsense. I'm not here for nonsense. My time is short, okay? I'm not here for nonsense. I'm not. A Sandra Nickel, my iPhone 8 and a simple camera adapter clip-on lens that you can purchase from Amazon. Yeah. So this is what's up there in the sky right here. And so are these ships in the real sky right there. You can see them right there. This right there in the sky.